Hi everybody. Today I'm doing a little bit of knoll binding or knoll, knoll binding or needle knitting or thumb knitting or this is one of the many ways that you call it and it's something like sim it's something like crochet and knitting except that the stitches are formed on your thumb and with a needle rather than a knitting needle, just a big sewing, just a big darning needle. Um, and it has to be made from short pieces of yarn because you have to pull the whole length of yarn through each loop. So um, usually I work with a two or three meter piece at a time and then join it to the next um, to the next end of yarn. So the way I join it, it's called a Russian join. And um, there's different ways you can do it. As you felt it, put the two ends of yarn together and you felt them and like this but I find it, it comes apart so it's easier to do this um, neat trick of of Russian joining the two ends so I take a big darning needle <coughs> and I thread it through I splice the yarn and thread it through the yarn the yarn that I'm starting with uh, about three or four times it's a bit tricky because my needle isn't sharp enough. And then I pull this through, leaving a bit of a loop, and a new piece I'm going to put into that loop before I pull this through so it, gets, it grabs so that goes through there and then I pull this yarn through the old yarn and straighten that out and then I do the same thing with the other side and I splice it as well And I work this through the thread. I'm doing this with um, with a single spun Noro yarn, and it, the Noro yarns are nice because they're woolen spun and they're very soft, and they will felt really um, very nicely when the mitten is finished, and that's what gives it a lot of warmth and strength. <clears throat> and there's also beautiful colors, so. But you can use any yarn, but preferably it's, I find it's better to use a single ply than a double. Okay, so there, that's ready to go. These ends will work their way into the into the stitch, and if there's any ends left over, you can just trim them there. It's not going to come apart now, so that's in insecurely. <coughs> and then I thread the needle. And this one is a, is a water buffalo. It's made from water buffalo horn, and and I have them made in India. They're hand carved. Each needle is a bit different. The ends are, have all been um, sanded um, one by one. And this this one is actually has a nice bend to it. So I find it, I find it very comfortable to use in my hand. And I sell these needles. You can find them on my website, and I have them listed on. Etsy and eBay as well as other shops. So if you're interested in, you know, please contact me. Okay, so <clears throat> this is, I'm using a finished two plus two stitch. And I like to use that for a mitten um, or a hand warmer because it creates a second layer, of, it creates a thicker layer of fabric. So the end, it's knitted um, in the round circularly. So I just start with a, a loop and I will be showing a more detailed version of this in another video. And I knit it up to my thumb and then I leave a space and I chain across here and then I continue around and I'm going to make be making them hand warmers so I'm only going to go up to here on it and then I'm going to knit the thumb section as well. So I'll just show you. So this is, it's formed around the loops of your thumb and it's called the finish 2 plus 2 because you leave two loops remaining on your, th on your thumb. I'm picking up a new stitch here. It's much like crochet. You pick up the first stitch from the previous row and then I pick up a second one from the old stitch because that gives it more more stability and then I pick up two 
threads behind the thumb, this one and the previous loop there. And then I turn the needle and I go back over the two loops that are still on my thumb plus the new thread. So that's a new loop. Well, that's a new loop. Okay, so I pick up that one, and then the previous stitch, and then, oops, that one fell off. So that's the two, the old loops, and then the two loops this way. old one loop off the thumb previous row and then two a new loop an old loop last loop off the thumb one two, and then underneath those. There's no right or wrong way to do null binding, null binding because it's been done in many different countries and many different forms, so, and it's an individual preference or a regional thing depending on how many loops are picked up as you're knitting or how thick you want the finished item to be. So you could just do a single loop and just pick up one thread and then it becomes a very um, a small stitch. Uh, I think the York stitch is in, in, that's known in England is, is used as a single loop. But the Finnish ones use more. Um, some you pick up three stitches, and some pick up two stitches, and some pick up one stitch. So it just depends on what you want, really. And you can experiment with your own with your own designs and how you want the, the finished item to be, and what your yarn is like as well.
right so there that's one little bit of yarn and I will be posting a pattern about about this type of a, a mitten that I've just kind of designed and I'll put it on my website and, and I'll have pictures of, of what the finished product looks like um, so I hope you come back and check thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later